Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at question 1461. Check if a string contains all binary codes of size k. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by looking at all of the, the substrings in string s of size k, add them to a hash list, and the thing that we need to do in the end is to make sure that the hash a set is of size uh, a 2 to the power of k. And the reason why we need to check if it's 2 to the power of k is because every single position can hold either 0 or 1, uh, giving us two values. So the size has to be 2 to the power of k to make sure that we have all of the uh, values necessary to return true for the problem. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we need to do is um, add a hash set. Um, and let's say we, so we store strings since we're using substrings for that. So new hash set. Right. Um, and even before that, there is a base case that we could check. We could check that, hey, if the length of the string is less than k, we know that we cannot uh, get all of the combination, combinations, so you just return false. Right. So after that, you have a hash set, and then you would, you'll have a for loop that goes all the way to um, string uh, string length minus k. minus k and increment i and then you would just add that to the to a set so set dot add um s dot substring i and i plus k that's it and in the end you just want to return hey the size of the the set is it the same as um in mat dot we use mat dot power mat dot power of two to the power of k perfect so let's quickly compile this and see if it's okay the first test case is okay everything else is okay as well awesome so let's talk about the space and the time complexity the time complexity is of n since we are going through uh, uh, the the string and um, getting the substring would also take um, a constant amount of time, so it would be n to the power of uh, n multiplied by something, but it would still be linear time. And then the space complexity is two to the power of k, since we need to store all of the combinations of the set. Perfect. So that's the solution. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really really appreciate that. And uh, see you all in the next video. Peace.